Today I would like to discuss about the language modeling. So what is language modeling in the text analytics? And we are going to learn some of the uh, language modeling tactics. So the, the basic idea of the language modeling would like to give the definition and then we are going to learn about the probabilistic language model. And there are some evolution metrics for the language model. And today I will also discuss the hook analysis. Uh, I hope that uh, all the agenda can be met today. So the basic language modeling, what, what is language modeling? We can see that a uh, language modeling means it is a system, sorry, it's systems that can predict upcoming words. So I can know what will be next word. So we can see the assignment by looking at the probability. So we can assign a probability to each potential next word. And we can assign a probability to a whole sentence. Okay, so if this one, it means I will just look at the word. Only one word, only one word. So we already learned from the text representation. But this one, we can see from the sentence. So if it is word, I mean one word sentence Hunjang. so it is how likely is a given string or the observation in a given language so for example i have four string i have four text and yeah if we look at this probability so the probability one will be higher than probability two will be higher than probability three and it is higher than probability four if you look at the strings okay i really like programming so it is natural so this kind of sentence is probably axis and the probability is high for B2, really, I like programming. According to the grammar or the structure, maybe it is a little bit strange. It is not that common. So the probability would be less than B1. What about the B3? Really like I programming. So this is more strange. And if you look at this sentence, so the probability will be lower. So the possibility to be a sentence is not that high. What about B4? Like programming, I really, this is more strings, it is not a sentence. Then if we look at the, if we look at the order of the probability, then P1, would be the best model or p1 is the highest in terms of the commonality in the natural language but okay, there might be some uh, special cases for example in the real world or in some application we will want p2 to be highly probable so if you say something, maybe you will say, really, really, I like programming. So the structure would be different from the uh, standard grammar. This is the standard grammar. The English will start with subject, it will start with I. But when you speak, sometimes you will start with the other word like this really I like programming. So 
the probability should be calculated based on the training data. So in the language modeling, so what, what is the purpose of language modeling? The language modeling, we can have some application, for example, the machine translation. So in English, there are so many diagrams, okay? I guess you already know the diagram at this time. Diagram means two words. So we have strong winds. And we have also the word plus with, which is more proper. In the English word, we use strong more than plus with. Then, based on the probability or based on the commonness of this word, the people will select this one as the language or as the sentence or we can also use this language modeling as the spell correction the spell correction means i can check what is the error in the typing for example the probability of the word 10 minutes from school it will be higher than the probability of 10 minutes from school so minutes is another meaning. So if it is correct, then the probability will be higher. Speech recognition. Okay. So in many cases, many people say that a foreigner cannot speak Korean well because of the pronunciation. Okay. So it is also the same. Yeah, if we do not know well about English, maybe we cannot pronounce it well. And some of the speech recognition may give some missing understanding. For example, when I speak, I saw a van. But the machine or the speech recognition tool Translate like this one, I saw an end. Okay. So the pronunciation looks similar. But when the machine or the AI or the speech recognition tool recognize the word, which has the highest probability? This one or this one? And we can see that this will be better or this one is more natural and there are other kind of purposes for example how to make the summary and then how to do the question and answering and writing recognition and so on so the the use of language modeling can be in many applications So we are going to learn the probability language model. So what does it mean by the probability language model? We call it the probability because it is based on the probabilities only. So a language model assigns probability to a sequence of words. So we have a sequence of words, W1, W2 until WN. So the goal is to compute what is the probability if those work is created. So we call this is the chain rule of probability. Is if we have W1, W2, WN, then I want to know what is the probability of W1. So this is the word in the position one. And then I want to know what is the probability of the word two given probability one. So I want to know what is the probability that the next word is word two given by W1. And I want to know what is the 
probability of W3 or the work number three given by the work one and and so on until we check the probability of the work n given the work from W1 until Wn minus 1. So for example, I have a string. We love learning NLP. Then using the chain rule of probability, we can check the probability of the word of the sentence. We love learning NLP. First, we check what is the probability if the word only we, and then we multiply with the probability when the word love appears after we, and then we multiply how big is the probability when the word learning appears after we and love, and the last we also multiply with the what NLP given by we love learning. So the formula will be something like this one. This is the multiplication of I from one until I. It is the total number of words. And we want to check what is the next word given by the context. So the context means the word that we have. So I want to know what is the probability that next word is NLP given by we love learning. So this is the very basic model with the language modeling. So why the word prediction is important? So this is how the Rats language models uh, LM works. So we can train. So LLM are trained to three different words. And we call it this is left to right. So from the left to right. So the left to right or auto regressive language model learned to predict next word. Because some of the work might be right to left so you need to understand right to left okay. some of the language in the world we need to read from the right to left for example the arabic okay. we have different kind of language model for that one L and generate text by predicting words so by predicting the next word over and over again so that's why when you look at the development of for example chat gpt or any kind of gpt so it requires a lot of parameters because it needs to know what will be the next word given by the previous words even by the context. So we learn about the text representation. You still remember back of words. So if you learn the text representation, we have one part encoding. So one hot encoding is the text representation using the binary representation, only zero, one, whether it exists or not exists. If you use the pack of words, we use the term frequency, or here we use the frequency. So how many words it appears in the sentence? So there are some issues when we use the back of words. The first is handling of conjugated or compound words. So what, what does it mean? So conjugated means a word that 
can be changed in the structure. For example, I love this movie. I love this movie. So we use D to represent past time. When we use the back of word, what happened? You will have two different words. The first word is love. The second word is love with D. So we have one word only love and the other word is love with D. So this might be an issue because those two words actually similar. Only different on the tense. It difference. This one represent present tense. Now this represent past tense. History. But actually the meaning here is it. The other issue with the back of words, if there are some word similarities. So I love this movie. I adore this movie. So the word love and the word adore is similar. But when you do with the back of words, you will see the word love. There will be one, and the word adore, there will be one. So, this is also another kind of issue if we use only the back of words. And handling of combination features. If we have the word, I love this movie, and I also see another word. I don't love this movie. What happened? The word tone represents negative, but the word love only represents positive. So we have another matrix. We just calculate the frequency tone. This one, love. This one. For the first word, for this one. But for this one, we have love and we don't have two. You can represent with this matrix, but we cannot see the sequence. We cannot see the order. And how to handle the sentence structure? The sentence structure means if there are some contrast word like but, but the location is not directly in the next word. If you see the word, it has an interesting story. So this is positive. This is a very positive word. But is boring overall. So this is negative. And we know this negative after one, two, three, four, five. After five steps, we notice that okay, this is negative. Meanwhile, in the back of words, yeah, we still have limitation only to know the frequency. We don't know the frequency. So um, in the next class. We will learn about the classification particularly, but I will introduce you what is the purpose of the language modeling. So when we use the language modeling, it means we are going to do the prediction and the common prediction in this case is classification. If there are two classes, we call it binary classification. So let's say I hit this movie. I hit this movie. The word hit represents negative. So I can know that this word has a class negative. 
If I have another word, I love this movie. So we know that love is a positive word. Then it can be classified as positive. So that's two classes or binary classification. But in some cases, we can also do multiple classes. So I hit this movie. Okay, this is very bad. Maybe sometimes the user does not represent the text well. For example, the movie is boring. Boring means, yeah, it's not interesting. But we cannot say it is very bad. Maybe this is only bad. So we can classify into several classes. Maybe there is another word. I have no comment for the movie. So if there is a comment like this one, it means we do not know whether it is good or not. Then it represents as neutral. So this is the multiple classes. So if the class is more than two, if the class is more than two, we call this is multiple classes. And we can also do the prediction based on the structure. So structure prediction, yeah, it is very exponential. Or we call it this is infinite level. For example, we can understand the POS. You still remember the POS part of speech. POS. I hate this movie. So we can predict what is the structure. So this is the preposition, verb, determinant, and noun. So with this structure, then yeah, I can construct different language. Maybe I love this movie, or I adore this movie, or I something something this movie. So we can change the verb with the same structure. Or we use this as the machine translation. For example, this is English and this is in Japanese. But the Japanese language does not use the Japanese character. It uses the alphabet instead. So if we use this alphabet, then we can understand the structure. Okay, I in which language it is. Okay, in which language it is. So yeah, the word should be represented according to the English word. Or it is totally different structure. For example, with Korean language. If we use the Korean alphabet, we use Hangul, then it is totally different structure. But we still can predict the structure. So, yeah, this is another thing in the language modeling. So, if we already have this kind of complex prediction, usually we need to use the neural net. So we need to use the neural network. The common machine learning is totally complex to handle this one. So, we will learn about the neural network after the exam in the I would like to revisit about the n-grams. So I guess you already know the n-grams. It is based on the pack of words. If we know about the pack of words, we can calculate the frequency for every word. But in the n-grams, we want to check the frequency, how many times the word appear after another word. 
So M's program model simplify the probabilistic model by assuming that the probability of work only depends on the previous n minus one words. So it means we have the chain of rule, the chain rule of probabilities. Okay, so this is the chain rule of probabilities. So we already looked at this one. Okay, chain rule of probability. Now we want to make it into n grams, for example, if the word is only one, so it will rely only in one word, in one word, in one word. So if I have the probability of the word one and word two and word three appears, so I can calculate the probability of W1, multiply the probability of W2, multiply the probability of W3. For the bigram means we consider the previous word. If I want to check the probability of W3 given by W1 and W2, so it will be the probability of W3 given by W3. So by gram, so it, it has two, okay, by, by meaning two. Pri gram, so it means three words. We need to consider the previous two words. So given by the word, uh, I want to know the probability of W3 given by W1 and W3. So we can have the probability W3 given by W2, W1. And so on. We can have four grams. We can have five grams. Yeah. And so on. Because it is represented by N. Question. Which is assigned higher probability by a unigram language model of what it is? I have four sentences. I like ice cream. The second sentence is the 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 the. The third sentence is, is go to class daily. The fourth sentence is class daily go to. According to the unigram language. Okay. So what? This is the higher probability. Okay. In the unigram language, we need to use the probability of only one word. So it means the probability of I multiply by the probability of like multiply the probability of ice multiply the probability of cream okay so there will be a value the second one we have the probability of the multiply by the probability of the multiply by the probability of the Multiply by the probability of the. So we have another value. The third one, we have the probability of go. We have the probability of two. And we have the probability of class. And we have the probability of daily. And the last one, actually, it is the same with the third one. We have the probability of class, we have the probability of daily, we have the probability of go, and we have the probability of three. So it's the same. So those three, okay. from those three, which is the higher probability? If we look at the first one, 
it seems this is the highest because it is natural. There will be a lot of I in a sentence. There are also many sentences with like. There will be also many sentences with ice, and there will be a lot of sentences with cream. But what about the probability of the word the, 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 the? We know that the is stop word. Even though it is stop word, stop word means something, uh, a word that has high frequency, but it is meaningless, no meaning. Even though the probability is high, but if we put those into a sentence with all the, 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 the then the probability will be very high. The last, because those two are the same, so go to class daily. So this will be also high. However, if we look at the word go to class daily, in the sentence, there are many sentences in English will start with I. It is more, the word start with I will be more than go to class daily. The word with ice cream will be more than go to class daily. So, yeah, according to this probability, it seems that the first sentence has the highest probability among this four. And if we have the higher probability, we will select, okay, this sentence will be the word prediction. So we use the bigram also to estimate or to predict the sentence. We will use the maximum likelihood estimate or MLE. It is to estimate the model parameters such that the probability is maximized. So we want to check the probability. We know that the bigram means I have a word wi and have a word wi minus one so what is the probability that the word y wi given by the word before so we will calculate this on the count divided by the count of the word before Let's look at the example. Do you still remember this word? Okay. So last week we learned. Okay, I am Sam. Sam, M I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. So let me use again this example so we can read it. Okay. So I put this previous. If we use the unigram. If you use the unigram, we can have this frequency. Do you know what is S? This is to put the symbol as the starting percentage. And then we have the backslash S. It is to represent the ending of sentence. Then I can just put another word to different cell as the attribute. So I want to know how many of them appears when the word is only one. So three, it means I have three sentences. Three, I. So there are I, I, I in every of the sentence. M equals to two, so we have M, M. Sam, there are two. So Sam, Sam, and so on. So we can make this unigram and we can make also the bigram. The bigram can be represented 
in this matrix. So, for example, after the S, after the starting of this sentence, it follows by I. So, the word I appears two times. The word Sam, after the first sentence, after S, it appears one. So we can use this matrix to calculate the biogram. Using the probability that we learned last week, we got the biogram probabilities. So for example, I want to know the probability of I given the starting of the sentence. So I, there are two. Given the starting of the sentence, the starting of the sentence, there are three. So we have this probability. Then if I want to put I in the first of the sentence, it is high probability. What is the probability of Sam given S? So Sam happens one time after S. Then we have one time over three. So there are three kinds of sentences. Then the probability is 0 0.33. What about probability of M given I? The probability of AI given I, what would be the next word if the word is M? So there are two and there are three words of I. So two, two divided by three. Two and I. So given I, there is one sentence follow with two, then it is one over two. Sam and M. Sam, M, we have the M, and it follows by Sam. So we have one, and there are two words, there are two sentences where M appears. So it means one divided by two. And the last one is, what is the probability Sam is at the end of the sentence? Then we have the Sam and follows by the end of the sentence. Then we have one and we know that Sam there are two, so one of two, so it is one. Now, the question is, what is the probability of M given Sam? Okay, this is tricky. Actually, I already gave this question before. Given Sam, okay, what is the probability that the next one is M? Nothing. Then okay, it is Q. What is the probability of P not given? So I have two, and after two, it follows with not. So there is one. So how many of two? We have only one. Means one over one. So there is 100% or it is yeah, 1. So that's the probability based on the bigram with this example. Okay. So there is a more complex example. It is a good example given by some of the lecture notes. It is called Berkeley Restaurant Project. So in this Berkeley restaurant project, they get the review from the customers. And the restaurant 
collect all those data and they put them as the training data. So for example, this is the first review. Can you tell me about any good Cantonese restaurants close by? So this is another review. Mid price Thai food is what I'm looking for. This is another review. Tell me about cheese panisi. This is another review. Can you give me a listing of the kind of food that are available? And so on. Okay. So in total, uh, in total there are this one. I took this one from a book. Okay. There are nine thousand sentences. Okay. So there. Uh, you can see here there are 9,332 sentences and there are 1,446 vocabulary. So it means there are 1,000. Okay. So it's too difficult to uh, analyze all. So let's just take a look at vocabulary. So let's take a look on the eight words. So the word I want to eat Chinese food, lunch, and spend. So the unigram shows like this one. Okay, so you already know from the previous example about the unigram. What about the bigram? So the bigram means how many what appears and it follows with another one. So here there are some what I follows with I. I follow with one eight hundred twenty seven. I follow with it nine okay. and so on. So there are zero. Okay, zero, zero, zero means there is no word. So after I, it does not follow with Chinese. After I, it does not follow with food and so on. Now, the question is, what is the higher probability? I want English food or I want Chinese food? So if I want to create the sentence, which one is higher? So based on the book, okay, this is an example from the book. If you look at this one, you cannot find any word English. Okay. So there is the word, there is no word English. Then how can we calculate it? So usually we can use something like the prior probabilities or yeah, we use the existing model or we use the existing probabilities and we can just apply it. So in the book, they mentioned that, let's say we give the prior probabilities from another literature. With the same review, like this Berkeley, we have the prior probabilities, I as the starting and yeah, it follows with the sentence as so the probability is 0 0.25. The word food after English is 0 0.5. The word English after one is 0 0.0011. The word mm, the placement of food at the end of the sentence is 0 0.16. Then let's calculate the probability. The probability of this sentence, I want English food. It means it is the probability of I given the S to multiply the probability 1 given I, multiply the probability English given 1, the probability of good given English, and the probability of the end of the sentence given. So we can just put the value and calculate the value as this one. Okay, this is 0 0.000031. Now, I need to calculate the other word. I want Chinese food. So this is the... This is the biogram 
probabilities of this endurance. As you know, when we calculate the biogram probabilities, means I need to know how many word of I appears in the corpus, how many of word one appear in the corpus. So yeah, it will be uh, calculated, and this is the biogram table probabilities. Using this table, I want to check. I want time zone. What is the probability? So we can look at this one uh, because there is no information about the position of I belonging to the first sentence. So it is given. Okay. So if you go to the particular one, you can check this one. So the given probability is 0 0.35 as the first word of the sentence. And then put if it is at the end of the sentence, so this is the probability. So we can check. I want Chinese food. So the word one follow with Chinese. So the word one follow with Chinese. So it is 0 0.065. The word I follow with one. The word I follow with one. So it is 0 0.33. This is the position of I at the beginning of the sentence. Food Chinese. So what is the probability that is Chinese followed by food? So it is 0 0.52. What is the uh, probability that food is located at the end of the sentence? We have the information 0 0.68. Then we can calculate and this is the probability. So the higher probability is the most probable sentence because we have this table so we can say that okay this is higher than the previous one the previous one is 0 0.000031 and this one is 0 0.00019 and this is higher then in the conclusion we can say that i want chinese food is a better sentence compared to I want English food. Okay. Because we look at the probability. Okay, let me stop here. Let's have a break. I will continue after the break.